Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were heading into the medical clinic within this year or Madre, and... Picking up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Oh. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Okay. Then what can I do? That's what I want to ask. What can I do if that's useless? Uh, and he tells me nothing. Great. There is something walking this way. Or at least looks like it. That's a noise. Okay, that is really disturbing. I'm just going to look around a little bit and uh, try to not run into those things. Yeah, something is pounding. I can hear that. I can hear that for a fact. Ooh! This I need. Thank you. Take all of this. Thank you very much. Perfect. Nice. And I think I'm going to pop that uh, Salisbury steak. Yeah, I think that's good. I might as well have one more. There we go. Up my health a little bit more. Let's, uh... Maybe head up for the... Oh. Oh, we saw those. We saw those in Old World, Bl Old World Blues. Ugh, but yeah, that is a tongue twister. And you're saying it really fast. What can I do about that thing? I don't know. There's a thing over there. Oh, jeez. I don't want to deal with him. If I can avoid it. Because apparently that is scary. Clinic security terminal. Check hologram status. Uh, patrolling second floor. I can set it to patrol the first floor. So, does that mean it'll get out of this hallway? Your security posting. Huh. Security protocols 2.4. Uh, oh, I guess this is all the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The short synopsis of what it does, I guess. Security protocol holograms do just as the name implies. Provide security. They perform this function better than most conventional security guards. I wonder how. Addendum appearance. Security holograms have been programmed with the case-specific Sierra Madre protocols. Not only do security pro... Uh, programs holograms look like the Sierra Madre personnel they will respond to threats or unauthorized personnel just as conventional security guards would yeah <laughs> we'll see about that in a second won't we <clears throat> my throat is dying I apologize 2.5 security holograms use field of view sensors to perceive their environment and to aid in pathing while later versions will feature upgrades that allow for a 360 degree perception arc the memory cells and current hologram emitters can only perceive their environment in a cone in front of them. Well, that's good at least. We won't really need to worry about that, and it's a nice way to explain it. They can, however, change facing as needed and scan their environment for unauthorized activity. It is best to purchase security hologram emitters. Ugh. It's at hologram. My tongue just collapses on itself. In pairs to cover a full view of the environment as trespassers could conceivably use hologram blind spots to gain access to unauthorized areas. Alrighty then. Threat detection 2.6. Okay. If security holograms detect unauthorized yes or detect criminal action, they will display a warning caution color to the target. L like what? Uh, directly to my eye hole so I look? So everything I look at looks yellow, or what? Or I assume that's the color for caution. Or do they turn that color themselves? Because I saw them blue. If you believe they ever display this color in error, immediately move away from the hologram's field of view until they resume their normal protocol. If the behavior persists, they will enter engagement mode, turn red, and attempt to subdue targets with their discharge beam. Oh. Okay, then... Note, as requested in the service contract, NE has installed EBE systems in all Sierra Madre security hologram embedders. Great. What does that mean? 
Often, an intruder's natural response is to attack a security hologram, either with fists or with a weapon. Fortunately for the hologram owner, all such assaults are useless against security holograms. They cannot be wounded, damaged, or harmed unless, harmed unless their emitter is destroyed. Attackers spending the time to look for emitters will usually be rendered unconscious by holograms' discharge beams before they can disable them, so there is nothing to fear. Well, you say that, that just leaves a lot more room for me to fuck up, doesn't it? <sighs> Security patrols number 2.7. As with service holograms, security holograms cannot leave emitter range. They will pursue a target to the emitter's perimeter, however. This is usually this usually allows a target to be subdued and should present no obstacle to casino security. Hopefully. Because uh I would suspect if they're running away that quickly to get out of the range, every In this regard it actually helps me. Emitters, 5.0. Whoa. That was a jump from 2.7. Hologram emitters are sturdy, yet can still be damaged or broken if enough force is applied. In addition, while they are protected inside sturdy space-age alloys... I don't know why my mouth didn't want to work with that. Their circuits are vulnerable, vulnerable to being tampered with. If this occurs, refer to the repair manual that comes with the hologram installation guide. Please call customer support services if this occurs. Yeah, I had coffee. I would thought my mouth would cooperate with me, but I guess not. Please call customer services if this occurs. Do not attempt to repair this emitter yourself. Warning, do not approach an emitter that may have been tampered with. If you must, please wear reflective maintenance gear or metal armor in case of hologram malfunction and make sure that you can move beyond a hologram's field of view in case problems arise. So they suggest metal armor. Does that mean that would reflect the things that they're doing? Installation and maintenance, okay? Welcome, and on behalf of your friends at NE, we... I don't know what NE would stand for, but all right. We thank you for purchasing the latest in service and security technology. Jesus, I cannot speak English. <laughs> if you encounter any problems, contact your urgent care services representatives at any time during the weekdays from 10 to 2 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If no one is there to respond to your emergency, leave a message and one of our trained representatives will return your call in the next three or four working days. Yeah, that sounds like a business, all right. Yippee. Maintenance 8.3. What does that mean? Holographic reading security technologies require service from trained professionals and routine maintenance. While the emitters maintain a charge for theoretically hundreds of years, damage can occur and circuits can erode over time. As part of the security... Security mod ray. I thought I was misreading that, and it turns out I was right in what I've written the first time. Exclusive contract. We have delivered on the custom <laughs> custom energy recycling emitters requested by the Sierra Madre financiers and Mr. Sinclair. That's good. That means these things are going to last forever unless I bust them. Great. Now let's see. It, did it move? It moved. Nice. Cool beans. I can open this. Hopefully. Uh, if it'll go, thank you. That thumping is really, really concerning me. Doctor's bag is really helpful as well, though. I'm going to see what we got here. Carton of cigarettes and medical brace. I should have picked that up. Perfect. Although that whirring is also really, really bad. It feels like I'm in a dentist's office. Oh, jeez. Which I haven't gone to in a while. I should probably do that. Uh, terminal and terminal. Okay. I don't know why he has two of them, but all right. Appointment calendar. Sinclair and Mrs. Mrs. Miss Keys. Transmitted to Sierra Madre. Sinclair, Miss Keys. Domino, Miss Keys. Sinclair proposed moving one auto dock to casino and scheduling visits. Sinclair agreed. Ah. Alrighty. Now let's see what's in here. We can bust through this encryption here. Um, trading isn't it. It. There's two. There's one more correct in feeling than there isn't. Trading. Uh, tits. So it's clear they're not ING I'm looking for. Despite. Okay. That's closer, but not as close as I want it to be. Now I need to 
find more opportunities to hack into this thing. There we are. Another dud removed, but it's not giving me any more tries. Not liking this. I would like it if you gave me more tries, game. Very helpful to me, game. Yeah, that's not working. Uh, <laughs> demanding from the game apparently doesn't work that well. Who knew? Uh, shit. Why am I not finding anymore? Oh, that's annoying. Ooh, that pisses me off. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to back out and try it again. Now I have to go through the security reset. Could you stop with that thumping? Jeez, that is unnerving. Okay. I'm sparing. Ah, that's closer for the first attempt. That's not bad. Uh, sparing. Let's see if it's the ING. Sliding? Well, that seems to be the case. Um, unless it's the S. Huh. Let's try lending. That one's closer. And once again, I need to look and hunt for code breaks. That's the word. So I can find more attempts. There we go. That's a huge dud, but it didn't do anything for me, really. Okay, that's not going to work. Really? You're not going to give me more? Really? Of all things? There we go. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Lending was closer, so what does that mean? Does that mean hunting will be... Yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Could have done that originally, but apparently I was too worried to do anything. Unpleasant visit. Domino stopped by to ask about the test results in Vera's voice. He seemed concerned that she would lose her voice for the gala event. I told him if Miss Keys was concerned, she should see me, and I would only disclose any medical information to her. I told him the autodocs were more than capable of healing Miss Keys' voice if she developed any throat infection, and we could even operate if need be if she tore her larynx. He seemed satisfied by the news, apologized amazingly enough, and left a bottle of wine as a token of his appreciation. I think I picked that up a little bit earlier. I told him if I felt it was inappropriate, he he insisted. I dumped it in the trash. Why would you do that? Wine is wine, man. <laughs> booze is booze. Take it. Enjoy it. Dink. Okay. I wonder... I can disable the emitter, yeah. There we are. And maybe convince the program to on the top floor, second floor patrol. There we are. And since it's disabled, it's not going to work. And he's not here. Nice. <laughs> I'm a smirk cookie. Woo. Take all this. Thank you. I'll take that for damn sure. Okay. Let's see what we can make thus far. I have enough Abraxo Cleaner to make the thing, and that's why I'm not going to do anything in that regard. Dispenser codes. I can get medics. Yeah. Perfect. That would be great. Definitely help from dealing from these guys a lot. Dispenser codes. Code for the public dispensers arrived today. Sinclair instructed us in their use in case of emergency. Should be able to get stims and other treatments from the machines. That's good. That would definitely help me. Sinclair indicated it could dispense more based it could dispense more based on the nature of the medical emergency or subject's condition. Among the codes, he kept asking if we could make sure the code for medics was backed up. He must have said it three times. I don't think he realized it. Must be stress. Made a backup of the code on this terminal just in case. Well, that's good for me. Thank you for that. That foresight. Okay. I'm gonna see what we got in here. Ashtray. Nothing worthwhile. Nothing worthwhile there either. And Wonder Clip. That actually works. Okay, let's see what we got in this. Ooh. Whole bunch of good shit. Take all of that. Thank you. 
And I don't think I checked this room. Now that I think about it. Uh, coffee pot. What's in the desk? Oh yeah, I definitely did not look through this. Uh, forceps. I don't think I need forceps, but I'm gonna grab them just in case. Just on the off chance. I will definitely take this Tierra Madre chips. Ernie's clipboard, a little useless. At least out here. Thank you for the chips, though. And, ooh. Mentats. Fuck yeah. I mean, I don't really use Mentats all that much, but it's better to have them than to not. Alrighty. What we got in here? Maybe something good? Yes. Something good there, that's for sure. Uh, surgical tubing. I definitely need that. Uh, for multiple things. Ooh, super stim pack. Oh, jeez. Come on. I grabbed that thing. Thank you. Alright. We're good here. Move on to the next room. And I'm being cautious just because I don't know if something else will spring out at me. And I'd rather be careful in that regard. Because even though I'm safe from the cloud... <laughs> Doesn't mean that I'm safe from enemies. And that could be the death of me when I'm trying to get out later. Take all of this. Thank you. And... Let's see what we got here. Tool cabinet. A knife. That's... I guess it kind of helps. Gives me something to repair with at the very least. Nothing good there. Alright. Let's see what we got. Got the desk. Carton of cigarettes, I will take that for sure. Uh, paperweight's useless. Those are not. These are good. Uh, nope, that's not good. And yes, that is very good. Fuck yeah. Uh huh. Trash can. Oh, scrap metal. Better than nothing. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat's dying. Okay. We go a little on this ways. I want to pick up what's in here. Wrench. Yes. Great. Okay. We got another long hallway. Man, that thumping is really unnerving. I don't know what it is, and I don't really want to know. Oh. 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 Jeez. Uh, okay. I'm gonna take his stuff simply because he clearly doesn't need it anymore. Oh, uh, jeez. Neither does this guy. Okay. That's really unnerving. Forceps, I'll take that. Uh, these clipboards are useless to me. Holy shit. What is that? It's a bomb knife. A bomb, not bomb knife, a bomb collar. Does that mean these ones were... Wait a minute. I need to get a look at the... Uh... I don't have the uh, thing anymore. But, uh... Pretty sure that's the outfit I came in with. Now that I think about it. So that means these were... Holy shit. An assassin suit? What?! What? Is that medium armor? Did it actually just give me medium armor? It did. No, this is light. This is light. It's a little less armored than Sierra Madre armor, but it did. It does. Did. Does add sneak. Which, where is my sneak skill at? It might actually help me in the long run. 60. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and repair it with. One of these. Maybe. Mm, yeah. There we go. There we go. I think that'll help me in the long run a lot better than some of the other things. Can I grab this? Whatever's in here. Can I just grab it, please? Uh, medical brace. There we go. Thank you. Whoo, boy. That might actually be the best boon I just found best boon out of all the boons that I could ever get. Yes, even that boon. You know which boon I'm talking about. Pretty sure you know anyway. 
Okay. So, back at the front. Grab this. There's nothing good here. Okay. Uh... Damn speakers at the end of the hall. Red light means they're shielded. Must be a way to shut them off somewhere else. Okay. Get to the clinic basement and turn off the power to the shielded speakers in the auto dock wing. That thumping is coming from that thing. Um... I think. Um... I think I can use these to heal myself. Um, inject adrenaline to cure exhaustion. That's something to do. Gee, that sound. That's a sound, all right. And heal all crippled limbs. I wonder if that'll heal my health, too. Nope, but it definitely dealt with the limbs, that's for sure. Uh, yep. They're all good. Don't need to do my doctor's bags for a while. That's nice. Uh, yes, again, sleep's not a, apparently an issue anymore. <laughs> Great. Uh, H2O. I should probably have some water. Uh, purified. There we go. I want to save that for later in case that is something scary. Oh, jeez. That's not working. That's not going to work at all. See if we can go down to the basement like he said. Oh, we can. Just want to check what's in here first. Uh, conductor. Useless. Okay. Go down towards the basement. Ooh. That's locked. Okay. There we go. Okay. This is probably going to be crazy. But it might give us some information on the clinic and what might be in that thing. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Just because, you know, we should probably take a break here and we're already a little over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat playing games for you.